so hello everybody I was just making a movie in um, Final Cut Pro here I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up um, I messed it up the first time I just have to change one little thing with the layer here and then I'm going to go ahead and open up motion and show you what we're gonna do Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and export this. Go ahead and export that. And go ahead and just minimize that. And make sure this is working. which it is, so I'm just going to go back there, go ahead and open up motion, we are going to go to my so we're gonna do a we're gonna do a blink one motion project and then we are going to um, go here to library and my intro I did make from a template I'm just kind of playing around with uh, motion this is like my second time using it. Um, I'm going to go to, sorry about that, my video finished, I'm going to use grayscale, I'm going to put that right in, right now, let's see, I want to, how do I want to do this? I think we have to add a, hold on one second guys. Okay, sorry about that guys, um, but what we're going to do is we are going to figure out how to use I'm not really going to make an intro, I'm just going to make oops, make something here and then let's add some Add some text or something. Um, let's see, text.
actually have to Let's see. Actually, I might use this intro for the beginning of the video. I'm not really sure. Um, we're going to get rid of beans here. Get rid of all the beans. And, um, let's see. Let's try something like this. Okay, let's see if we can put that layer under. I think it's going to go on top no matter what. Yeah, it covers up the text too much for what we're doing. Don't need that. Yeah, that's not really what we want for this either. Um, nah. Some of these are actually kind of funny. You can make it snow, flurries, blizzard. Um, depending on what kind of video you're making, a lot of these uh, would, would work. That one actually looks really cool. If we can get it to not cover up the text. Which it doesn't. Let's make it. Let's see if we can fill the whole. The whole screen with it. We gotta get our text on the on the top here. Don't think we wanted that. Um, let's see. If we
see what we're gonna do. We're gonna move it down there. And then it won't be in the way of our what we typed. And we're also going to go here and center that. It looks pretty centered to me. Um, then what else we're going to do is after I'm going to extend that to there. I'm going to add a marker. Then we're going to make that the end. Take take that and drag it to the end. And then just to show you how it works, we're going to export it. Going to export it to live motion drone. And we're just going to export it to my video hard drive, which is where I store all my YouTube videos. And then it's going to export that portion of it. And then right here you can see all your layers for all these different things right here and you can have you have your uh, timeline of your project which is also which is this whole section right here and this is where you change your properties for each of these if you click on it it'll come up over there this program is fifty dollars in the app store by the way see how we're doing on viewers and then um, that's done so it popped up in quick time I'm gonna go ahead and close um, I'm going to save that. I'm going to save it as live intro. I'll probably delete this after this, but I just want to have it so I can open it again in a second for you guys. Um, hope that stays running. If it's yeah, it does. Okay. Um, so now we're going to go down here to my videos and you can see that's the Final Cut Pro stuff I was just working on. Um, that's my YouTube layout review video that was just exporting, you saw that too. Um, and then right here is, um, that's also from Final Cut, that's for my intro, uh, the work in Final Cut. But we're going to open this up right here, it's the one I just made. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do need to shorten it a little bit because as you can see it goes black before the video ends. Um, I just need to change the ending time. But that is how you make a um, intro on Final Cut, not Final Cut Pro, on Motion, which does work with Final Cut Pro. You can see right here, um, you can have your Final Cut effects, you can make all that stuff, generators, and you can actually take stuff from Final Cut and put it in here and edit it, I think. I've never done that before, but um, I think you can do that. Um, Final Cut Pro is still open. Um, it's done exporting. Go ahead and close that. If you guys have any questions, I'll do some uh, short question and answer right now um, before I in this stream if you want to comment anything in the comments what mic what mac are you using um 
I am using the mid 2012 Mac Pro, the latest uh, Mac Pro that's designed before the um, newest Mac Pro came out. And um, I'm using, I'm just using the YouTube software, the uh, Wirecast is what it's called, the stream. And I'm using a Blue Yeti microphone. And then the programs I was using is Motion 5, which is available in the App Store for $50, and Final Cut Pro, which is also available in the App Store for $299. Um, so that is how you um, use that. And I may do another live stream next weekend on doing some stuff in Final Cut Pro if you guys would like to see that. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. And this has been Connell with Reviews.